shit. See me? I was thinking of what you said to me when we were both lost in the withering. I hope I wasn't out of line. No. Your love for your daughter pulled me out of my darkness. We have to fight for the people we love, and I was failing them. I needed to hear that. But beyond your words, your spirit is what truly brought me back. What do you mean? You're a survivor, Eric. I only knew about the steel mill. I had no idea you'd suffered through so much when you came to this country. I've suffered too. My father was murdered right in front of me. Someone shot him in the chest, mistaking him for a thief who had just robbed a bodega. I didn't know. Not many do. I only share it with people I trust. He bled out on the street. There was nothing I could do to save him. I couldn't save my mother either. I felt so powerless. You were just a child. I promised my father I would protect her, and I couldn't. Now I feel like I'm failing all over again with Faith. You tried your best to find her. It wasn't enough. I wasn't enough. That's not true. Remember what Paul Radcliffe said? Our deepest pains one day turn into our strongest armor. Eric, what we went through made you a strong healer. I know you originally joined the Foundation because of Rachel, but she doesn't see your light like I do. She's too preoccupied with her own ambitions. I've seen how she's treated you over the years. And it's not right. She doesn't value you the way I do. When it comes to the Foundation, I need you to put your faith in me. I need to know that you're committed to helping me stop the withering over everything else. I want to help you, Xavier. But Rachel is my wife. My first priority. Even over your own daughter? The withering? I'm not going to betray her. I see. Xavier, you're needed in the library. I'll be right there. she go? Is she here? Who? Faith? You know she's not. No! The woman! I... I just saw her and... Faith is still out there. And I think this is bigger than just our family. Just slow down for a second. Who is this woman? What did she say to you? Let me help you. You can't help me, Eric.
worst day of my life since my daughter died. You remember that day, Leo? The day Asta died? Olivia, there's no way anyone could forget that day. No. There... There isn't. You'd think they'd understand. Have a little empathy for me after 15 years. But no. They wouldn't even let me back in the building to collect my things. Leo, I'll take care of our bill. Sure thing. <laughs> Am I seeing things again? Or is this your attempt to get on my good side? Depends on if it's working. <laughs> Well, don't expect to be paid back. I'm officially looking for work. In fact, I better start looking. Wait! Olivia, please. I need to know what new information was found in Orson's case. Doesn't matter. But what does matter is that your son is probably as dead as my daughter. Don't say that. Do you even remember my daughter's name? Huh? It was Asta! And she was only six when- Oh no, you don't! Get out! The hell? After you broke my tables yesterday, you're never coming in here again. I wasn't anywhere near here yesterday. Guess I'm not the only one with troubles. Wait! Astrid, tell this crone idiot that I haven't touched a glass in this place. Liar! I saw you with my own eyes. To hell with this! I'm out of here! Don't go, Brit. Let's get this sorted out. There's nothing to sort out. I won't take the blame for something I didn't do. Go fuck yourself. Brit, wait. Who's that? Her child is missing too. She was looking for her. Where? Here in town? No. Here. But not here. It's hard to explain. But I think she's connected to what happened to Orson somehow. I need to find her. It's almost like I dreamed her. But I didn't. I'm sorry. I must sound crazy to you. Not really. I have Leo accusing me of damaging his bar when I know I didn't. I don't understand why you would think that. He's either lost it or... I have. I know how hard you work to stay sober, Brit. And I'm proud of you. Thanks. That means a lot coming from you. But sometimes people lapse. Or forget things. I swear, Astrid. I didn't do anything to that bar. Leo has known you since you were a kid. He cares about you. Why would he lie about something like that? Who's that? I don't know. Wait, where are you going? To find out. You're right. Another ritual isn't going to help us find our daughter. Rachel, why have you called us here? I have followed you, Xavier, with all of my heart. Believed in all of your teachings. But where has the Foundation led us? What are you doing? I need to find my own way. And I need you to bear witness. We can't hurt anyone else. No! What have you done? Go before I change. 
takes my life. Rachel Hernandez, you stand accused of crimes against the Foundation. This tribunal will decide your fate. What are the charges against her? She performed an unapproved ritual from our sacred writings, mutilating herself and desecrating the sanctuary of our Foundation. And how did you come upon these writings? I searched the depths of the library. A serious charge. Would anyone else like to present evidence? When Xavier was incapacitated, Rachel supported me to lead in his absence. We've always had our differences, but she put them aside for the sake of the Foundation. Rachel's loyalty will be noted. Rachel, before this tribunal decides your fate, do you have anything to say in your behalf? You can judge me all you want, think I'm unstable, but at least I did something to find my daughter. You hurt yourself! How is this any different than the sacrifice required in a severing? I took on this burden on my own, and even though it didn't work, I have no regrets, and I'm not going to let you give me any. You've heard her testimony. What's your judgment? Rachel Hernandez, I have no choice but to expel you from the Foundation and leave you to the withering. To rot. <laughs> <laughs> 